Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. Today we're going to continue looking at our camera tools, which can be found under View, Camera Tools. We've already gone over several of these already. We've gone over the Tumble Tool, the Track Tool, the Dolly Tool, and the Zoom Tool. Feel free to click any of those links to check out those tools. Next on our list is 2D Pan slash Zoom Tool. This one I'd say is probably not used a whole lot. So let's go into it. What is this for? Let's look at our options here. Quick option box, double click it. So not a lot here. We have our zoom scale and then mode, which we have can switch between a 2D pan or 2D zoom. And as I look at my cursor here, you see it's kind of a crosshair looking shape. So let's click and drag. And you see now I'm panning. Very exciting. If I choose 2D zoom, uh, I'm zooming. And the zoom scale slider kind of increases and decreases the speed of the pan and zoom. Similar to the zoom tool that we covered earlier, this is a two dimensional zoom in with our camera lens. We're, we're kind of making the image larger we're not actually zooming into the scene in a 3D space. Now the 2D pan zoom tool has a bit more to it than just these options here. Let's put this back to one. So there actually is a hotkey for this. It's the backslash button which on my keyboard is right above the enter key and it turns 2D pan zoom on and off. You can see my view kind of switch between the two. I'm going to go to File, New Scene, just to kind of start my scene over from scratch. Close that. And let's go to Create Cameras Camera. Move this up. So I have my have a new camera in my scene. And then I'll create, let's, let's create a polygon sphere. And I'll just make a, I'll duplicate this and make a couple of them. Just to have something in the scene to look at. There we go. So I have just a whole bunch of spheres in the scene. And now with I, when I select my camera, I can go to Panels, Look Through, Selected Camera. So now I'm looking through my new camera. Alright, let's get, go to View, Camera Settings. And you'll see here we have Ignore 2D Pan slash Zoom. We'll get back to that in a minute. But I want to let you know that in the camera settings, there is this button, this checkbox to ignore 2D pan zoom. If we go to view camera attribute editor, we'll go to the attributes of our camera. You see, I have my camera attributes here angle of view, focal length, and all that stuff. We'll get to that in a future camera video. Right now, we're still, we're still exploring this 2D pan zoom thing. Let's scroll down my attribute editor all the way down. We have a whole lot of little tabs and folders that we can open up. Let's open the display options. Let's keep scrolling down and then you'll see we have a 2D pan slash zoom section right here. Where we can enable with this checkbox pan zoom. You can enable the pan zoom like that with the checkbox. And then you'll see the pan X and Y values and the zoom value all become available. And when this is unchecked it's grayed out. So if we check this this gives us values to input to change the pan and the zoom of the camera. If you go back to our camera tools, 2D pan zoom tool, this allows us, and let's open up the, the options here too, so we have 2D pan and zoom. This gives us a way to do it interactively. So to interactively change your camera with the 2D pan or 2D zoom, you use the 2D pan zoom tool. But if you want to have numerical values to put in, you can enter them here to pan to a certain x, y coordinate or zoom in a certain amount. And you'll see if I start panning with the zoom, the pan zoom tool, my pan values are changing because I'm doing it interactively instead of typing them in. If I choose my 2D zoom and start zooming, you'll see my zoom value change. So that's just another way of changing the
the pan or zoom value either interactively with the tool or by typing in a number here. So I type in, say, 5, enter. I've zoomed out up to a, a value of 5. If I type in 2, enter, I have a zoom value of 2. And if I click in the scene with my pan zoom tool active, I can still change this. So let's close the tool options and instead let's look at view camera settings ignore 2D pan zoom. Let's check this. And you'll see my, my camera's view changes back to where it was. And if I use the pan zoom tool you'll see that I'm not getting anything happening in my scene. So what this is for in a general sense is you can zoom in on, on a scene that you're animating without changing your camera. You can still kind of zoom and pan your view around your scene without adjusting your camera where it's positioned. But it's a 2D pan and zoom. You're not actually changing your perspective. With, to do that, you'd have to actually change the camera's position to change your perspective. Let's switch to a side-by-side -side view, camera view. Let me right click here and choose any of these really. Let's, let's just do the outliner perspective view. I kind of open up these two panels and over here on the left I'll choose panel perspective camera 1 and this is panel perspective camera 1. So they're both camera 1. If I go to view camera settings ignore 2D pan zoom for this camera but for this one view camera settings and uncheck ignore pan zoom you can see now with this side we can pan and zoom our camera while on this side we can't so this lets us look at our scene on the left in this case how our camera has framed it but on the right we can zoom in or if we uh, change this to pan we can pan around without changing the camera's position because both of these views are looking through the same exact camera but this one I'm able to pan around and zoom in and out and if you zoom in enough you'll start to see on the left side you'll see a border showing where my zoom and pan frame the frame of this view on the right is located in the scene on the left and as I pan around you'll see that border move So that's essentially all there is to it. There is another checkbox here for render pan zoom because typically when you render your scene it will ignore whatever panning and zooming you've done with this tool because you're not actually changing the camera you're just looking around your scene without changing your camera you still want to render the original camera view but if for some reason you do want to render the zoom in view check this box and then your pan and zoomed view can be rendered if that's what you want to do. So yeah, pan zoom. Along these buttons in our panels, we do have a shortcut key here. You'll notice the icon is the same. This little magnifying glass and uh, red arrows. I click this on and off. It turns on and off our pan and zoom, our 2D pan zoom. Again, our backslash does the same. With this shortcut key up at the top of our panel view, we can also right click it and choose to ignore 2D pan or zoom here as well. And this will is a little bit of a shortcut from to view camera settings, ignore 2D pan zoom. Right there. When you right click and check the box on or off. You'll see there's also two other options here. This this little tool is just a tool that keeps on giving with options. We can create a 2D bookmark or edit our 2D bookmarks. Let's go back to my side-by-side -side view real quick. So the camera on the left, we're going to choose to we're going to go to camera settings and ignore 2D pan zoom and for this one we're going to not ignore 2D pan zoom. So let's go to, in this cam camera on the right, we'll go to view, camera tools, 2D pan zoom tool and we're going to open up the attribute editor for our camera, view, camera attribute editor, scroll down, back down to our display options and our 2D pan zoom options here. Let's say I'm going to zoom in on this cube. Let's kind of adjust our cameras here. 
So I've, again, we're looking through the same camera on both sides. I've zoomed in on this sphere here, and let's say I like this view. I want to look at this sphere in the future. Right click here and say create a 2D bookmark. And I'm going to pan around. Let's look at uh, this sphere too. Let's zoom in as well. Like so. Let's uh, go to right click on our uh, button here and just create another 2D bookmark. And you see I'm creating these little tabs up here as well. Camera view 1 and camera view 2. And it has the view type which is 2D pan zoom. And you'll see there's also a 3D view type as well. And lots of values for the area or the positioning of that bookmark. Let's right click on this and choose one of our bookmarks. Let's go to camera view one and you see my pan and zoom settings have moved over to look at that first sphere again. Right click and choose camera view two. And I'm looking at that other sphere. Let's right click and go to edit 2D bookmarks. And we see we have our 2D bookmarks, our two bookmarks that we've already made we can rename them here, we can add a description, and we can also delete them. If you want to create a new 2D bookmark, it essentially copies the one we had selected. Go to right click this and go to camera view 3. I'm still looking at that sphere. Camera view 1, camera view 3. Or if we don't like that one, we can delete it. So yeah, we right click on this little button here, it gives us all of these options for creating bookmarks for our 2D pan and zoom tool. And again, if you go to camera view one, we'll see our frame on this side, indicating we're looking at that sphere, but we're kind of zoomed in. So that's view camera tools, 2D pan zoom tool. That's actually kind of useful, who would have thought? I've never really used this tool until I started doing research on it, and I can see it being used in the future. I hope you learned a bit about the 2D pan slash zoom tool. <laughs> it's a mouthful. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you guys later.